five. I beg your pardon to two and the par five. The third shot for Catherine Kirk. She had it going yesterday late. She did, but the, she was playing when the wind was at its highest. That being said, Jerry's already mentioned one of those hole locations out there. Perfect speed to drop in. And Catherine Kirk, who got it to four under at one point yesterday, is off and running here on day two. Uh, here's another scrambling opportunity for Catherine Kirk. Going airborne here a bit. She wants some spin, doesn't she? Quick. She's hoping. What do you spin think? Spin in the hole. Maybe. Ooh. Catherine Kirk, her second at the seventh. It's been a busy year for Catherine. She has uh, played all but one of the events on the LPGA Tour. She did not play in Singapore. Cool. Caddy wants it to go. All right. and it's going to work towards the hole there. And it's yeah. going to work out pretty well. Very good. And a good chance for members, Birdie for Catherine. Just the way, just the way you nice. draw. Members just bounce. The way you draw yeah. Catherine Kirk <laughs> for a Birdie. <laughs> Nicely done. And Catherine who finished fifth at uh, the ISPS Handa Vic Open, her best finish of the season. At the eighth, Catherine Kirk just one shot back. Her closest call in a major came at the 2010 Women's British Open when she was Catherine Hall. Catherine Kirk for a share of the lead at the par three eighth. How about it? Kept her head down so long after she made contact with that. Nine. Kirk to get to six under. That's such good pace, isn't it? Five birdies on the front nine. IK goes to seven. Kirk trying to stay at six. This is at the tenth. Major championships, not always about the birdies, is it? It's about the par saves. Right there. Yeah, nice shot. Thanks. 152 starts separated her second and third victories on the LPGA Tour. Okay, what does uh, Kirk face here, Jim? Oh, yeah, it's a nasty lie, but it looks like she's going to go past the hole possibly and use the slope. That's an option. If she goes out the hole, this is, depends where it comes out, which is hard to really kind of gauge what it's going to do. It's kind of so sticky, but you really just got to get the club underneath it and accelerate through. I think she's going to go more at it. Back on the 13th hole, and this one's pretty steamy down the hill, Jim. Yeah, it's got some speed to it, but it's a pretty good chip shot she hit to get to here. Yeah, well done. Good up and down. Mm -hmm. Playing well. Relatively easy shot for her here. Just has to trust the yardage. Like she did. Yeah, she did. And that's going to leave Catherine Kirk a very nice look at Birdie. This is Catherine Kirk at the 15th for Birdie. Took a long time on this. Yeah, just wasn't quite sure of the line, I don't think. Didn't really commit. And now 
Catherine Kirk has this putt for par. Have you had a chance to take a look? As it look, as it seems like, Jim, the wind is really kicking up. It is, and Karen is exactly right. I mean, for the players, the flag was looking like a crosswind, but now that I stand on top of this hill, it's back in their face, and that's why she switched clubs and then switched back again to the original club, but miss hit it. But now this is a lengthy putt for par. Start to play tough, Tom. Oh, just fading away. 